Last time on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Murder! All station personnel, we have intruders able to evade visual detection. They are armed and dangerous. This is a full station security alert. Got him. He's been transported to the brig. Dax to Odo. That's it. I'm reading Terrigan emissions at zero. Ambassador? Yes, sir? Dax's readings indicate increased drone activity around the station. We don't have much time before the next attack. I finished my analysis of the new drones. Major Kira is installing it into one of Quark's hollow suites. Why don't you go on down? Show! He keeps saying that. Show what? Citadel! Simulate! Well, sit down, Ambassador. It won't kill you. Beginning. Hey, what's going on? Quark! It's not me! Citadel, destroy! Travel, Citadel. Travel, Citadel. Your ship. Scythian, ship. Stop, scavengers. Scavengers, cease. Kira to Cisco. Go ahead, Major. Hangar doors open, powering up systems. Bannock is here with me. Can you lock on? Got it. Standing by. Be ready, Ambassador. When the relay ship comes through, I want you on the Hudson at tactical. We'll be targeting drones? Yes, but our real target is the relay ship. We can't let it get back to its source with more information about our defenses. It must be destroyed. <laughs> Station Log, Supplemental. We have successfully defended the station from the second wave of alien drones. However, without the Defiant, it is unlikely we can survive a third, more deadly attack. The Scythians have agreed to transport Major Kira, Ambassador Bannock, Odo, and the Hudson aboard their delegation's vessel to Demaras III. From there, our way team will determine if they can stop these machines of destruction at their source. information about the interior is more major I see it oh it's a warship under construction then that's gonna head up their next attack transporter systems are currently non-operational and now the continuation Hello everyone, Angel here and welcome to episode 6 of our let's play of Deep Space Nine Harbinger yeah I gotta be honest, I've not really been looking forward to this at all. Uh, I I remember this. This this sticks out like a sore thumb in my memory. I never completed the game because of this section. Uh, I have since seen playthroughs of it being done, and I cannot fathom how any of this was worked out. I mean, sure, probably enough trial and error and enough time, but only the dedicated can uh, can really do that. So, yes. The maze. Before I proceed any further, someone pointed out to me that I did not actually pick up a phaser rifle from the runabouts. So yeah, I need to need to go and get that. I think it's this one, okay. Because what will happen is I will be periodically attacked by drones. So I need to be able to defend myself. How I missed this the first time, I will never know. It's not there. Oh. Where is it then? I 
I can go back quite a bit, can't I? Aha! Got a phaser rifle. But I can't pick up a tricorder. What the fuck? Surely the tricorder would be pretty important. I mean, I assume that's a tricorder. Maybe it's not. Okay. Sorry. To me, that looked a bit like a tricorder. Um, yeah. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Maybe it's a power pack. I will dwell on it no further. We will shan't speak of this again. And uh, now I need to figure out how to get back out again. Okay. Ah, there's the hole. So, what's my plan? Well, my plan is to basically cheat and read a walkthrough of how to do this, because I was debating whether I should just try to do this or not. Um, but quite frankly, I don't want to waste any more of your time or mine on this game uh, than I have to, to be honest, because it's, it's not really been fun. And having done a cursory read of the walkthrough, I'm just like, yeah, I'm, this, this would take far too long for me to figure out if I figured it out at all. I have mentioned before, I'm never particularly good at puzzle games, um, but I think the problem in this case, uh, and we'll find out, is the game doesn't help you in any way. you just shown stuff and you kind of just have to figure it out as you go. So, um, right, so I've got the guide in front of me, so, okay, we've we can we've got a maze here. Now, there are several locations we can get to. I think um, these poles indicate a potential route. We did see on the map, there's a map behind us, I'll have a quick look at that. So we are here, I think. Because we were there, we were there. So I think we're here. And I think these represent other areas that we're going to be going to for one reason or another. None of these symbols make any kind of intuitive sense whatsoever. They're just there. So it, it's not particularly helpful. So I have to go forward 10. You can see these mazes. Oh. Ah! This is going to be fun. Yeah. Because now what I have to do is go back and get the phaser rifle again. All right, well, at least we'll confirm on the map where exactly we are. If this happens too many times, I'm going to just maybe do a quick bit of editing and, and skip forward, but I don't know. Maybe you're entertained by my failures. Okay, we got the phaser rifle again. We shall take the lift and then I will save. And must get into the habit of saving frequently. Oh, so this is where we're going, not here. Okay, so, uh, all right, well, we're going to this symbol here. Okay, forward. Ten, look out! For, oh no, no, save. <laughs> save first. There we go. All right. Four, ten, so a two. Look out for drones. Yeah, they're random when they come, so you can't just predict precisely where they come from. Okay. Right, forward six. Okay, and it's left, but let's have a look at right. Oh. oh, oh, another one. Okay, okay. I'm going to be a bit of a scum saver here. Right, okay, uh, that does appear to go somewhere, but I think we can't, we're not supposed to yet. So I'm just going to follow the guide, we'll go left, so left, and then up. again 
forward three. Right. Forward five. Yep, I'm I'm gonna be see, doing that quite often. Uh, uh, I'm actually kind of lost where I was in the thing now. Um, forward three, left one, five down, left one. Two, three. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Okay. This, this is actually going to be interesting. Cause it's actually just a little formula of F10, then R, then F6, then left. So F forward 10 steps, then right. And then I have to find myself where I am in the queue again. Uh, after being in combat, it's now a little bit confusing where I am. Down. Okay. Did I go down? No. Ooh, that's the down. Okay, turn around. Don't get killed. Uh, forward two, up. Forward two, left, forward one, then up. Okay. All right. Now, if the guide is correct, this should be the control room, which is where we need to be. save anyway while I'm here. Let's have a look. Meaningless. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Nothing to click. All looks a bit meaningless. Does this turn the drones off? Because, you know, pressing a big red button... Okay, maybe this is the w obvious way to get the player's attention, but still, that doesn't necessarily mean that's a good thing. Usually, that's reserved for emergencies. What if I press this and the drones go into overkill? But uh, uh, the guy says this actually disables the drones, so I'm going to do that because I really don't want to have to keep having to scum save all the time. So this should turn the drones off for the time being. Reading the console. Okay, let's uh, are these accessible? No. This ambience is uh, it's something. Interesting, the guide just says click on one of these icons, so what if I click on it again, does that reactivate them? Maybe I shouldn't find out. Or maybe I should. Okay, well... Oh! So I clicked on that three times. And I got a different thing. See, I, I've already ignored the guide and just start clicking things maybe when I shouldn't do. Okay. So, let's have a look. If I go back, can I click on this again?
Well, you know, I'm just going to keep going. So yeah, that, that's all we can really do here. I think we will be back here, but apparently there's something about shield-shaped icons. I, I guess that there's a shield there. There is nothing distinct in this art style, apart from the drone, because that's a recognisable thing we've seen. Everything else is just like, there's no context. Now, I wonder, if I had gone to one of the places I shouldn't have gone first, maybe it gives me more clues? If that control room is anything like the other rooms, then I really don't see how. Okay, so apparently I now have to activate two generators which allows us to then come back to the control room and disable some of the other things. But the thing is, you apparently have to activate the generators in the correct order or it doesn't work. How the fuck are you supposed to figure that out? I've been given nothing so far. I mean, I guess it's just endlessly clicking, so you activate one and you try to activate the other, you go to the control room maybe and it doesn't work and then you have to go through this maze the whole time because... Ugh. Right, well hopefully we're not going to kill by drones, but all the same, I'm going to save. Uh, now I have asked myself, should I just do a quick edit through these, so you can just see how... And I might do later, if I have to keep doing a lot of backtracking through this maze, I might just do some edits, but... Yeah, For right, right now I'm trying to concentrate on the walkthrough, and I've clicked the wrong button. Idiot. <sighs> right, turn around. Forward. Right. I just went down, forward, to you, up, turn around, forward one, left, forward four, I'm not even looking at my screen, I'm just looking at the guide and I'm just hoping that the drones are definitely turned off, because I may not notice in time. Five, right, forward, three, right, down, forward, one, left, forward, five, left, forward, three, right, down, forward, three, Left, forward five. Wait, did I did I go five? Yeah, I did. Okay, uh, forward five. Right, forward five. Yeah, I see the entrance now, so I think we're good. Okay. This is the first power generator, apparently. Okay. Well, it looks power generator-y. I'll give it that. Okay, we have a symbol now. Now, finally, we do have a symbol to the maze. Okay. That's good. I'll give it points for that. Finally, some context. I'm try I'll try not to let my bias of this game from my memory get in the way. I feel it has at the moment. And I'm not really letting it try to give me... Okay, to be fair, I am knowing exactly where to go thanks to a walkthrough, but I, I want to try and be fair at least that it gives you some idea. So we've got an idea of where this generator is on the map, but you saw what I just had to do there, and you expected to memorize that very quickly. I mean, this is a lot of backtracking, this is going to be making mistakes. If you didn't turn the drones off, you're going to be getting killed all the time if you're not going fast enough. Uh, yeah. 
Not, not a great experience. But I wonder, um... Yeah, if you activate them in the wrong order, then you're gonna have to go, because I'm gonna have to do this again, and it's an even longer sequence that looks like it's almost twice as long as what it took to get here. We'll see. So let's do this. Let's activate. Okay, well, we turned it on. Now we gotta go out again. I've got to ask, actually, what, what, what is the point of this architecture? They're clearly leading to doorways, but someone thought this was a good method? I mean, there's no railways, uh, railways, uh, railings to indicate that you should be walking here at all with any kind of safety, but then, you know, I guess the Empire and Star Wars doesn't know this either. But this looks more like some sort of power conduit sort of thing going on here. But is also acting like a lift. So it's clearly meant for someone to work through a service way, perhaps? I don't know. Why, why make it in a maze like this, especially when there appears to be dead ends? The, what is the logical purpose of the construction of this maze? I mean... See, this over here, what, what's the point? What's going on here? Was, was this just the architectural engineer deciding, yeah, this looks good? You know? It, it's a bit surreal, maybe, or... Uh, 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 just getting his artistic impression out there, I don't know. Uh, now I've lost myself... <laughs> lost myself in the walkthrough, so where was I? Uh, well, this could be fun. Let's go back and just get our bearings. So we came here from one, two, three, we're in up. Up, left, forward, three, left, forward, five, two. You think we're nearly there yet? Oh, 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 have I... No? No, I did. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. Uh, one, two, four, left, one, two, left, right, uh, left, one, to up uh no no not there yet um still a bit to go still a bit to go i am following the guide bear this in mind exactly how i'm supposed to go where i'm supposed to go and because of that uh, oh no oh, oh sneaky sneaky i had to actually turn left there uh, down, around, forward, right, forward, right, forward, T 
to left for there. I think I see the pathway now we have to go. Indeed, there it is. So I can just storm my way through now. It looks, certainly looks like the drones are not attacking us, so at least this has made this a bit easier, but... Imagine coming into this not knowing what you should be doing. You are going to waste so much of your time on this level. With that same ambience, background hum, and maybe shifting about when you get to a room like this, none of it particularly pleasant. It does serve a sort of alien feel, but it's not mixed up by any kind of variation. It's just noise, and not in a good way. Oh yeah, I'm <laughs> kind of waiting for something to happen there. I'm like, oh yes, I've actually activated. That's all you need to do. It's it's all very little fanfare, isn't it? Right now, I've got to go back to the control room. Um, the good news is that was uh, we're, we're halfway through the May section at least. But uh, there's still at least three sequences to go with this crap. So bear with me as I once again go into the maze of hell. I tried to say something to fill the gap, but uh, it's hard for me to come up with something and concentrate on a walkthrough and not get lost. What's your favourite Star Trek DS9 episode? Or, you know, if you can't pick one particular favourite, a favourite. You can tell me down in the comments. What does it for you? Which one was a, a, a one of the best? I'd like to think we'd all pick many of the similar ones. Things like, you know, uh, uh, Pale Moonlight, Far Beyond the Stars, uh, The Visitor, Duet, Way of the Warrior, Siege of AR, Oh, I can't remember that. 577, I want to say. 557. And then It's Only a Paper Moon. Fantastic Nog episode. I am lost now. You see what I mean? I, I tried to talk about something. Concentrate on a walkthrough. Now I'm fucking lost. <sighs> okay, so I came down or up. Uh, yeah. Not good. Not good. Okay, I can come back to this point at least. I, I know where I was here. This was right. One, two, three. Forward, two. Left. Forward, one. Left. Forward, one. Up. Okay. So I was in the right place. Left. Forward one, left, forward two, left, forward five, left, forward one, oh, left, down, turn around. Isn't this the most exciting gameplay you have ever seen? I mean, I know I'm on the edge of my seat because I'm, you know, making sure the microphone is close to me and I've got a good position. Um, but I'm sure you guys are also on the edge of your seat waiting to see eagerly what will happen next in this epic adventure of the maze of hell. With me, uh... Tyrion Bannock, that's his name. Uh, assistant ambassador to the, the the diplomatic corps of the, the race, the Tyrians. <sighs> I may have gotten lost again. So 
So, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to keep going. Uh, hope for the best. Four, five. You know what, I'll be amazed if I actually managed to do this. Let's see, up. Right. No. No. Left. No. Uh, ah, here we go. Yes. Did I make it? <sighs> Alright, so we're back in the control room. There are a total of ten icons. Two pink, two yellow, two blue, two green, two red. Activate each of the pairs of icons. As you do, you'll see an arc between the four electrodes of each four corner of the square. The arc will be the same colour as the icons you've just activated. Do not touch the red icons as this re-enables the drones. When this is done, you'll be able to open the final door so as to exit the control room and make your way through the next route. Okay. How am I supposed to determine that? I mean, that sounds to me like, I mean, I, I guess they're colour coded, but this is going to be a lot of trial and error, and... Yeah. Okay, well there's green. Okay, so pretty much do them all. Okay. But you can still press it. Okay. Now, if this is supposed to be a sequence, why would you allow them to continue pressing buttons, especially as you don't know what's going to go on? This is, yeah, this is basically a complete trial and error situation here, I think. Let's see if it actually gives us an indicator of uh, what happens afterwards if we've activated enough of them. Oh, God, I can't remember the icon I just pressed now. That was this one, wasn't it? Okay. Okay. Blue. And we got pink. Was it pink or red? Yes, too pink. Okay. Did I just mess that up? Did I just mess that up? I, I'm not given an indicator if I actually messed that up. I mean... <sighs> okay. I'm going to say regular intervals here, so it said don't do the red ones, I'm not going to do the red ones, uh, I'm just going to go on the assumption that that worked, that's not very clear, I mean that could have just as easily been you'd failed and it's collapsed them as much as you succeeded. <sighs> okay. But it says we'll be able to open the final door. So we can actually see here, these are the two power generators. There's two more rooms here then, I guess. Alright. I mean, it'd be nice if the map had a map of the maze. I forgot to mention, by the way, there is actually a map button. It doesn't work now because I'm not on the station, but on the station, if you press the M key, there is a map button that shows you where you are. Someone mentioned that in the comments before. Oh, another thing someone mentioned in the comments, when uh, Odo was a apprehending one of the blue like oceans, I think, was it the red ones? I think it was the blue ones. Um, you can hear the conversation talking, and then you appear, and Odo is a barrel, then morphs into, well, Odo. So, was the Lycosian having a conversation with a barrel the entire time? Uh, or was Odo himself 
then he turned into a barrel, and then he turned back. There's one to ponder for you. What, what do you think happened there? What's the story? Uh, down, around, forward one, right, forward two. This should be fairly short. Right, forward five. Left, forward one, right, forward six. Yeah, I think I see a door here. Right, forward two, left, one, two, five, and here we are. Okay. What can we do here? Well, let, let's go for it, see what happens. Okay, we've got a new corridor. Now I'm pretty sure I did not get this far in the game as a kid. This this I did not do, okay? So aside from seeing this on a YouTube play uh, once or twice, I uh, I'm kind of yeah, this is fairly new for me. All right. I'm going to stop looking at the guide for a moment because we're past the maze and that's why I have the guide. So I don't feel the need to need it at this time until I need to go back and have a look. So what do we got? got? Three doors, I think. One door here, way back, another door here. So what's straight ahead of us? Let's have a look. Well, hello. That looks like a place, although these screens are a bit broken, so maybe not, but that looks like somewhere we could go to, eventually. Okay, so, three doors. What about this one? Ooh, this looks important. Quite like the design on this, actually. This kind of almost Doctor Who like. Oh, hello. Let's look at these icons a moment. Green or green. That sounds like Odo. The audio is looping. Odo, adjust your signal. I can almost hear you. Major Kira has been injured. Odo, adjust your signal. I can almost hear you. Can you read me? Ah. What is your situation? Where is Major Kira? Perfect signal all of a sudden. Excellent. All right. 
The Major's been injured. I've put her into medical stasis, but I'm not sure how long she'll... How severe are her injuries? She's still unconscious. Some broken bones. She's lost a lot of blood. Can you pilot the runabout? Get her out of there? The runabout is disabled. We were forced to crash land inside the Citadel. The transporter? Is it functional? It's functional, but there isn't enough power to get it going. Ambassador, listen to me. If you can get enough power to the transporters to generate a sequencing signal, I can boost the annular confinement beam from here and beam you two out of there. It'll have to be one at a time, but... I'll get right on it. Odo, this place is... Hurry, Ambassador. It's only a matter of time before the orbital patrols... Odo, out! Alright. So, Odo's gonna give us some transporter power. That's what I like. Okay, so there's one more door. And I think I see the path now because there was a door by the crash runabout that had bars on. And I think we're supposed to go that way after we help Major Kira. So this whole this whole first section is for us to get to the communications tower to let Odo know Kira's injured, get us get us the hell out of here. That is the first section of this planet. And it sucks. What a creepy bedroom. Absolutely nothing here at all. It's a pointless room. That serves literally no purpose. It's just window dressing. We might serve a purpose later, Let, let's see. But apparently we're done here. Uh quick look at the guy. Yes, we are done here. We have to go now. Um Is it this way? No, this doesn't look like the right way. No, it's not. Okay. This way. There we are. Right. Yes, so this this will be the last maze section. Hooray. And then we can just get to the final part of the game, which is, uh, I think, that old trope of arguing with a computer to win the day. Oh. There wasn't... Ah, you can't go back. Oh, no, you can. Just a very slow gait. Okay, cool. Right. Um, well, let's save again. So what I'm going to do, I think I'll get Kira out and then I'll cut the episode off here and then basically the next episode will be the final of this playthrough, finally. Um, I just really wanted to get this maze out of the way. I think the rest is a bit more tolerable and interesting after this point, so let's see. So off we go again. I'm I'm just breezing through this. I'm got very little to say. There's nothing there's literally nothing to say about this. I've said it already. It's it's shit. And I've gone the wrong way. Uh fuck. Fuck. <laughs> um I think it's this way. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a chance. Up. Around one left. Four. One, two, three, four, up. Yes, yeah, so I've I've gone the right way. All good. All good. Oh 
Ah! 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 Okay, the drones are back. Right, yes, I forgot about that. The drones come back. <laughs> Down. Obviously they had to uh, spice things up. Because it's already pretty damn exciting, as you uh, as you know. Three, four, five left. One, two, three. Almost there. Right down. Right. Uh, forward one. Right. Yeah. Here we go. We are back to the start. We did it. We made it. Fuck you, Maze. I hope to never see you again. You are terribly designed. I don't like you. Go away. And with that out of the way, Let's get the fuck out of here. I'll just save again, just so I don't have to eat my words. <sighs> I feel relieved. Genuinely relieved. Which means if I do actually have to go back in that maze again, I'm going to be very upset. But... Let's hope not. Right, so... Computer, activate transporter systems. Transporter systems fully functional. Warning. Power distribution unstable. Lock onto the com badge signal of Major Kira Nuriz. Auto sequence initiation. Come on, Auto. Annular confinement beam supported from target destination. Yes! Warning. Power distribution destabilized. Circuit overload imminent. Oh, not yet. Danger. <laughs> <laughs> that line delivery. Oh, not yet. It's just that. Oh, can you just wait a little? This uh, brilliant tone. Um, okay, so according to the guide, that was when we were supposed to do that power conduit uh, puzzle, which I did last time, which uh, flummoxed me a little. But okay. Um, okay. I think that's it. I don't see anything else to click here. To back off. Uh, guess we can't actually directly communicate with Odo here. So I guess it's to the next door that I mentioned. Which is not here, it's through the hole at the front of the ship. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. What the fuck? <laughs> um. Okay. Is this trial and error? Okay, so this pattern, this pattern. I hope you see what I did there. That that was literally me just going through every single combination possible to open the door. That That's it. No clue, no cleverness about it. Just randomly mash the buttons until you figure out which is the right combination. That's it. There... This is terrible.
terrible. This is so bad. Maybe I'm being too harsh, I don't know, you tell me. <sighs> I mean, if that combination thing hadn't worked, I, I would have had to go back to the guide. Simple as that. All right, another room which looks suspiciously like the last one. Um, I'm gonna bet there's gonna be another crossing to that room because that's the opposite side of where we went to last time and that's the room we need to go to and I think it's on the map as well. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, I think this is like clearly the central point we're gonna try to get to and I think this is where we were and I think there's a bridge that's supposed to go here that was damaged to screen smash so I'm gonna suspect that this is gonna be how we get in. Uh, I am gonna stop there though. Let's quickly save. As I said, uh, a relief to be past the maze section. I mean, it's possible I will have to go back, but uh, the, the worst is, is done. Uh, and so I will record the last episode in due course. Uh, but uh, thank you very much for joining me in this interesting episode. Uh, do join me in next time. Take care.